the aim of the violent tackle analysis was to assess and identify Katie's running technique, looking at the potential risk factors for injury, as well as how she can improve her performance. So here on the first video, you can see from the side that Katie is a, a fairly good runner. She's got a flowing action and that she's done plenty of running in the past. And you can see she's pretty, pretty happy with what she's doing. However, um, as you get a bit closer, and you can see now we're in slow motion, you can see that the leg motion is a little bit drawn out. The foot is making contact out in front of the body. Therefore, that's increasing the braking forces and slowing Katie down. Then in, in the later stages of the movement, you can see Katie's heels are around about 90 degrees, which is generally pretty good. But at this pace, I believe it could be slightly higher, which would increase the hamstring and glute function. From this angle, you can see straight away that the uh, arms are going across the body. So they're not going straight forward and backwards, which is the way we are going. So you want them to work with you rather than against you. Finally, as you close up on the back, you can see that Katie's pelvis is not staying level as she absorbs the force through one leg and then the other. We call this uh, a pelvic drop. And uh, for Katie, this is pretty similar side to side. It suggests that while she's running, the pelvis is not as stable as, desire, as desired. And this can increase the risk by overloading the leg but also reduces the power Katie can create. So all in all, Katie's not a bad runner uh, in the slightest, but we can all improve. Uh, and these findings are all fixable, and with some extensive training will be what will become natural if uh, she works with it in the right way.